Hello everyone, welcome to the lecture on first order differential equation. In this lecture, we are going to discuss next topic that is integrating factor. Integrating factor is one of the important topic of first order differential equation. It play vital role to solve various type of first order differential equation. It allow us to transfer the, this equation into the simplest form, making them easier to solve and understanding integrating factor is a key to mastering the technique of solving the differential equation effectively. Although this lecture we will explore the concept of integrating factor in detail, we will discuss its significant methods of finding the integrating factor and how it helps us to solve the differential equation step by step. To understand the importance of this integrating factor, I will discuss example. See here, sometimes we are given the differential equation in this form. Here, y square dx plus twice xy dy is equals to 0. If you observe this equation, then we can write this differential equation in this form d of xy square is equals to 0 by formula d of uv is equals to v as it is derivative of first term plus first term as it is derivative of second term. Now here if we apply the, this product rule for this curve y x square then here y square as it is derivative of first term that means dx plus x as it is first term as it is derivative of second term so derivative of y square is 2y dy is equals to 0. So this left hand side we can write d of x y square equals to 0 and to find its solution integrating both side so integration of d of x y square is equals to integrating constant c and we know that if we find the integration of dx then it is a x the similar way integration of this term is x y square equals to c now here the given differential equation we can solve directly without multiplying any factor so without multiplying any factor if we get solution directly then this type of differential equation is called the exact differential equation and this exact differential equation concept and its examples we have already discussed in the previous videos so here the sum examples are given which can solve directly and that is an exact differential equation but we know that in mathematics not all the first order differential equation are exact so therefore if our differential equation is not exact so we need to multiply some function of x y and that function is called a integrating factor for example suppose we have given differential equation y dx minus x dy is equals to x y q dy now here this differential equation is not possible to solve the directly but if we multiply this differential equation by function 1 upon x y then this differential equation will be y dx minus x dy divided by x y is equals to here in the right hand side this x x will be get cancelled and from y cube divided by y so it is a y square dy here this left hand side we can write in the form of d of log of x y because if we differentiate this log of x y then ultimately we will get this term and how we will get this that formula we will discuss in this lecture and here right hand side is y square dy now it is integrable integrating both side so integration of this left hand side is log of x by y equals to integration of y square is y cube by 3 plus integrating constant c so this is the solution of our differential equation and we get this solution by after multiplying this function so here this is the 
we are multiplying to our differential equation so if we are multiplying any term so that multiplication term is called the factor so and we are multiplying to our differential equation so it is nothing but the integrating factor so what is integrating factor integrating factor is nothing but a function of xy integrating factor integrating factor is the function function of x and y x and y which when multiply multiply with the differential equation will make it make it exact so here see here if we multiply this differential equation by function 1 upon x y so we will get this form and that this new differential equation we can find its solution directly that means this new differential equation is we can solve directly that means it is nothing but the exact form so integrating factor is nothing but the function which we have to multiply to our given differential equation so that our differential equation will be converted into the exact form so hope you get the idea why we are discussing this integrating factor so let's discuss some important formula related to this integrating factor here the first formula is is x dy minus y dx divided by x square is equals to d of y by x if we differentiate this right hand side term then we will get this left hand side now the second is x dy minus y dx divided by y square equal to d of minus x by y third x dy minus y dx divided by xy is equals to d of log of y by x fourth one is x dy minus y dx divided by x square plus y square is equals to d of tan inverse of y by x fifth formula is x dy minus y dx divided by x square minus y square is equals to d of 1 by 2 log of x plus y upon x minus y here all five formulas containing numerator term is similar and denominator is different that means if if we have given the differential equation in the form of x dy minus y dx equals to some function of x y we have to choose the integrating factor such a way that this differential equation will be solvable or it will be converted into the exact form and here if our differential equation contain x dy minus y dx is equals to let's suppose it is equals to zero then without multiplying any factor you can solve this differential equation by separating variable otherwise if we take the integrating factor suppose we take the integrating factor 1 upon x square then here multiply by 1 upon x square throughout still it is solvable otherwise this differential equation x dy minus y dx equals to 0 if we take integrating factor 1 upon x y still it is solvable that means integrating factor need not be unique next formula is x dy plus y dx here if you observe this differential equation then you can write this differential equation directly as x dy or it is integrable term without any multiplying factor but if we take x dy 
plus y dx divided by x square plus y square then it is nothing but d of 1 by 2 log of x square plus y square. Next formula is x dy plus y dx divided by xy is equals to d of log of xy. Next formula here y e raised to power x dx minus e raised to power x dy divided by y square is equals to d of e raised to power x upon y. We discussed example. Now here right hand side contain dx and it is a coefficient is in the form of x as well as y term content. So here now here this differential equation we can write as x dy is equals to y dx plus x square plus 9 y square dx. Now shift this y dx in left hand side. So therefore we get x dy minus y dx is equals to x square plus 9 y square dx. Now see here left hand side again we get in the form of x dy minus y dx. So just we have to choose the integrating factor. If we divide this x square plus 9 y square throughout then it will come. Now, now if you observe this equation and compare with our given formulas then it is just similar as formula 4. And that formula denominator term contain x square plus y square. Instead of x square plus y square, here it is a x square plus 9 y square. So 9 is nothing but 3 square. That means it is a x dy minus y dx divided by x square plus 3 y square dx. And for that, we required numerator also contain 3. So here we required. 3 so multiply by 3 throughout so we will get 3x dy minus 3y dx divided by x square plus 3y whole square is equals to 3 dx. Now it is a nothing but the formula of d of tan inverse of 3y by x. So integrating both sides, integration of d of tan inverse of 3y by x is equals to 3 integration of dx plus integrating constant c. So here left hand side is tan inverse of 3y by x is equals to 3x plus c. So this is the final answer of our question. Solve x dy minus y dx is equals to 1 plus y square dy. So here the given differential equation is x dy minus y dx is equals to 1 plus y square dy. We have to take the integrating factor that contain only y and that only y is contained in our formula second and that formula says that we have to take multiply 1 upon y square. So here in this formula if we take multiplier 1 upon y square so our differential equation will be x dy minus y dx divided by y square is equal to 1 plus y square divided by y square dy. Here this left hand side we can write of x by y is equal to here this term 
we can write 1 upon y square plus 1 in the one. Now left hand side is completely function of y. So it is possible to integrate this term. So right, integrating this term, integrating. So integration of left hand side, integration of x dy is equals to integration of 1 upon y square plus 1 dy plus integrating constant c. Therefore, integration of left hand side is x by y is equals to integration of 1 upon y square is we have to shift this 1 upon y square numerator. So it is an integration of y raised to the power minus 2 dy plus integration of dy plus integrating constant c. So by using the formula integration of x raised to the power minus n dx it is x raised to the power minus n plus 1 divided by minus n plus 1. So here the integration of y raised to the power minus 2 is y raised to the power minus 1 upon minus 1 plus integration of dy is y plus integrating constant c. So it is a x by y equals to minus 1 upon y plus y plus c. Now whole term if we shift in the left hand side then it is a x by y plus 1 upon y minus y is equals to integrating constant c. So this is the final solution of our given differential equation.